Excuse me. This chair taken? Excuse me? Is this taken? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, sorry. Sure thing. Uh, excuse me, is this chair taken? Excuse me? Is this taken? No, but I'm expecting somebody in a minute. Oh, thanks anyway. Sure thing. Excuse me, this chair taken? No, but I'm expecting somebody very shortly. Well, would you mind if I sit here until he or she or it comes? <laughs> they do seem to be pretty late. Never know who you might be turning down. <clears throat> Sorry. Is this chair taken? No, it's not. Do you mind if I sit here? Yes, I would. Oh. Is this chair taken? No, it isn't. Do you mind if I sit here? No, go ahead. Oh, thanks. Every place else seems to be taken. Mm -hmm. Great place. Mm -hmm. What's the book? I just want to read in quiet if you don't mind. No, sure thing. Every place else seems to be taken. Mm -hmm. Great place for reading. Yes, I like it. What's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, Hemingway. What's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Have you read it? Not actually. I've sure read about it, though. It's supposed to be great. It is great. Yeah, I'm sure that it's great. Waiter? What's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Have you read it? <laughs> nah, I'm a Mets fan myself. Have you read it? Yeah. Well, I mean, I read it in college. Oh, where was college? I went to Oral Roberts University. Oh, where was college? I was lying before. I never really went to college. I just like to party! Oh, where was college? Harvard. Do you like Faulkner? I love Faulkner. I spent an entire winter reading him once. I just started. I was so excited after 10 pages that I went out and bought everything else that he'd ever written. One of the greatest reading experiences of my life. I mean, all that incredible psychological understanding and the page after page of gorgeous prose. His profound grasp of the mystery of time and, and human experience, the smells of the earth. What did you think? I think it's pretty boring. What's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Do you like Faulkner? I love Faulkner. He's incredible. I spent an entire winter reading it once. <laughs> I got so excited by the first 10 pages, I went out and bought everything else he wrote. All that incredible psychological understanding. And the prose is gorgeous. Oh, and the way that he's grasped the mystery of time. And human existence? I can't believe it took me so long to read him. Well, you never know. You might not have liked him before. That's true. You might not have been ready for him. You have to hit these things at the right moment or it's no good. And that's happened to me. It's all in the timing. My name's Bill, by the way. I'm Bob. Hi. Hi. Yeah, um, thought reading Faulkner was a great experience. Yes. The Sound and the Fury. <laughs> well. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. Waiter? You have to hit these things at the right moment or it's no good. And that's happened to me. It's all in the timing. My name's Bill, by the way. I'm Bob. Hi. Hi. Do you come in here often? Actually, I'm just in town for two days from Pakistan. Oh, Pakistan. My name's Bill, by the way. I'm Bob. Hi. Hi. Do you come in here often? Every once in a while, do you? Not so much anymore. Not as much as I used to, before my nervous breakdown. <laughs> Do you come in here often? Why are you asking? Just interested. Are you really interested or are you just trying to pick me up? No, I'm really interested. Why would you be interested in whether or not I come in here? I'm just getting acquainted. Maybe you're only interested for the sake of making small talk long enough to ask me back to your place to listen to some music or because you just picked up a great movie or because you have some terrific Unknown Smiths record. Only all you really want to do is fuck, which you won't do very well. After which, you'll go into the bathroom and pee very loudly, then pad into the kitchen to get yourself a beer from the refrigerator without asking whether I'd like anything. And then you'll proceed to lie back down beside me and confess that you have a boyfriend named Stefan who's been studying in medical school in Belgium for a year and who you've been seeing off and on in what you would call a very intricate relationship for the past seven years, none of which interests me, mister. Okay. Do you come in here often? Every other day, I guess. I come in here quite often and I don't ever remember seeing you. Guess we must be on different schedules. Missed connections. Yes, different time zones. It's crazy how you can live right next door to somebody in this town and never even know it. I know. City life. It's crazy. We probably pass each other in the street every day. Right outside this place, probably. Yep. 
Well, the waiters sure seem to be in some different time zone. I can't seem to locate one anywhere. Waiter! So what do you do? Can I beg pardon? Nothing, sorry. Guess we must be on different schedules. Misconnections. Yes, different time zones. It's crazy how you can live right next door to somebody in this town and never even know it. I know. City life! It's crazy. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? Actually, I was. Oh, boyfriend? Sort of. What's a sort of boyfriend? My husband. Aha. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? Actually, I was. Oh, boyfriend? Sort of. What's a sort of boyfriend? We were actually meeting here to break up. Ah. What's a sort of boyfriend? My lover. Oh, here she comes right now. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? No, just reading. Sort of a sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Reading here, all by yourself? Do you think so? Well, sure. I mean, what's a good-looking guy like you doing out alone on a Friday night? Trying to keep away from lines like that. No, listen. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? No, just reading. Sort of a sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Reading here, all by yourself? I guess it is, in a way. I mean, what's a good-looking guy like you doing out alone on a Friday night? No offense. But, to tell the truth, this is my first time out alone on a Friday night in a long time. Oh. I recently ended a relationship. Oh. oh. Of rather long standing. I'm sorry. Well listen, since reading by yourself is such a sad occupation for a Friday night, would you like to go elsewhere? No. Do something else? I don't think so. I was headed to the movies in a while. No, thanks. Big chance to let Faulkner catch his breath. All those long sentences get him pretty tired. Thanks, anyway. Okay. I appreciate the offer, though. Sure thing. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? No, just reading. Sort of a sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Reading here, all by yourself? I guess I was trying to think of it as existentially romantic. <laughs> you know, a cappuccino, great literature, rainy night. That only works in Paris. We could hop on a late plane to Paris. Get on a Concorde, find a cafe. I'm a little short on plane fare tonight. Darn it. So am I. To tell you the truth, I was headed to the movies after I finished this section. Would you like to come along? You know, since you can't find a waiter. That's a very nice offer, but... Uh, boyfriend. Two, actually. But I'm looking for a third. Boyfriend. No, I don't have a boyfriend. Not if you mean that pathetic loser I dumped last night. Boyfriend. Sort of. Well, sort of. What's a sort of, sort of boyfriend? My daddy. I just ended a relationship, actually. Oh. Of rather long standing. I'm sorry to hear it. This is my first night out alone in a long time, and I'm feeling a little bit at sea, to tell you the truth. So you didn't come over to talk to me because you're a Mooney or have some weird political affiliation? No, straight down the ticket Republican. Straight down the ticket Democrat. Can I tell you something about politics? I like to think of myself as a citizen of the universe. I'm unaffiliated. Oh, that's a relief, so am I. I vote my beliefs. Labels are not important. Labels are not important, exactly. Take me, for example. What does it matter if I had a two point, three point, four point at college, or if I did come from Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Westchester County? Sure. And so what if I'm a huge supporter of Trump? That I had a total body liposuction. That I don't have a penis. So what if I spent a year in the Peace Corps? I was acting on my conviction. Sure. Can't just hang a sign on a person. Absolutely. You must be a Scorpio. Listen, I was headed to the movies after I finished this section. Would you like to come along? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Let's play. A couple of early Woody Allen movies. Oh. You don't like Woody Allen? Sure. I mean, I like Woody Allen. But you're not crazy about Woody Allen. Some of the early ones kind of get on my nerves. Uh-huh. You know, so listen, I was gonna... To I'm sorry. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say that I was headed to the movies in a little while. Well, so was I. The Woody Allen Festival? Just up the street. Do you like the early ones? <laughs> I think anybody who doesn't ought to be run off the planet. How many times have you seen bananas? Eight. Twelve. <laughs> so are you still interested? Do you like Entenmann's Crumb Cake? Last night, I went out at two in the morning to get one. Did you have an Etch-A-Sketch as a child? Yes. Do you like Brussels sprouts? No, I think they're disgusting. They are disgusting! Do you still believe in marriage in spite of current sentiments against it? Yes! And children. The three of them. Two girls and a boy. Harvard, Vassar, and Brown. And will you love me? Yes. Cherish me forever. Yes. Do you still want to go to the movies? Sure thing! Waiter! Waiter! Yay! 
You don't like Woody Allen? Sure, I like Woody Allen. But you don't love Woody Allen? Some of the early ones kind of get on my nerves. Uh-huh. But you're not crazy about Woody Allen. Ah! <laughs> uh, I like that one, too. <laughs>